Hey guys, welcome back. It's Neon. We're going to talk about the morning after the end of Game of Thrones. Uh, and just a disclaimer, I actually have not been following the show for quite some time. And thank God uh, I didn't because it sounds like it was just a colossal mess. Uh, but we are going to talk about some of the reactions across the internet and some of the uh, news outlets trying to defend the choices made during the final season and, and some of the fallout and some of the grief counseling that's available for fans of Game of Thrones um, because, you know, you're going to need a, a, a shoulder to cry on now that, now that the show is over. Uh, maybe a shoulder to cry on now that the show has been uh, completely flushed down the toilet from my understanding. Now, before we get into the video, uh, thank you everybody who's been subscribing over the last week. It's definitely helped uh, with the channel traffic. We really, really appreciate it. If you have not subscribed yet to Clownfish TV, please, please do so because that definitely helps the channel. Um, it doesn't cost you anything. Just hit the subscribe button and uh, you'll be notified when we post new content. Uh, we really, really, really appreciate it. So, Looking at the Game of Thrones situation, as we've said before, it is a show I watched a little bit at the beginning and I just didn't get into it because I knew it was going to be a huge time sink. And we talk about um, appointment television. I'll talk about that later in this video. And I knew it was going to be appointment television. And frankly, like I'm so busy, I don't have time. I didn't have the time to invest in this show. At the time this show came on, uh, the only show I watched uh, with any regularity and didn't miss an episode was Doctor Who, and we saw how that how that went down. Doctor Who pretty much got uh, flushed down the toilet in the last season. Uh, very disappointing to me. So I can understand how some Game of Thrones fans are feeling about this. Um, but this is like a big cultural phenomenon. Like I mean, this is sort of the the drama surrounding the Game of Thrones backlash reminds me a lot of the Last Jedi. And Geeky and I talked about that in a previous video where now the rest of you know how us Star Wars fans felt uh, with The Last Jedi. Some of the cho choices made about The Last Jedi. Now, the difference is we're not seeing the news outlets throw the fans under the wheels of the bus quite to the extent that they were with The Last Jedi. And we think that that is because Game of Thrones, there are a lot of younger fans of the series uh, whereas with The Last Jedi, people were like, oh my god, like, what's the problem? It's just this, like, really old trilogy and, like, you know, times change. Now that, uh, now that everyone's had a taste of what it's like to, to have your favorite show or, or movie series ruined by some really poor choices, uh, neener neener, right? <laughs> sucks, doesn't it? It really, really sucks. So speaking of Star Wars and Game of Thrones... Uh, the series finale has has all eyes on potential prequels and spinoffs from HBO. Good luck with that. I mean, this is kind of where they went with Star Wars too, right? Where they flushed the goodwill the, of the fandom down the toilet with The Last Jedi. And then they compounded it by insulting the fans who were upset. And, and then they were like, why didn't Solo do well at the box office? Uh, so now they're talking about, they're talking about prequels and spinoffs. And I don't know if the fans, uh, are really going to care at this point. Now, of course, uh, you know, the folks behind Game of Thrones, uh, that duo, they are going off to, uh, ruin, I mean, work on, uh, going off to work on Star Wars. They're going to be behind the next Star Wars trilogy, which is that even a good idea at this point? Like, why would you, why would you put the guys who were in charge of dropping the ball on Game of Thrones in charge of Star Wars, which has already had the ball dropped. Like, this is just like a compounding failure, isn't it? I, God, I don't know what they're thinking. So I think it's a little premature. But, uh, you know, here's the thing. Even before last night's finale for Game of Thrones, and I'm not going to ruin it. Well, I might ruin it later because um, I really don't give a shit, but not at this point in the video. There were, there were, you know, there was a lot of outrage about it, but it got to the point where it was so bad. It was so bad. They had to set up grief counselors, grief counselors. This is on CNN. Where the hell were the grief counselors for the last Jedi? Where were the grief counselors? Why, why do they have grief counselors for game of Thrones? Uh, you know, for people being disappointed in Game of Thrones or the ending of Game of Thrones, but where are the grief counselors for all of the disenfranchised, pissed off, angry, heartbroken Star Wars fans? Again, this is just like the shows that like, 
you know, Game of Thrones is 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 uh, being handled differently by the media than Star Wars was. Is it because Star Wars is a Disney thing? You know, is is that it, I, or is it just they saw the mistakes that were made with Star Wars and they're trying not to replicate them uh, with Game of Thrones, except for you know character assassination and all that that shit. So here, this came from CNN last week. This is actually before the last episode. You can find a Game of Thrones counselor near you. Uh, it said, come Sunday, last night, the night will be dark and full of many, many terrors for Game of Thrones superfans. <laughs> Just how badly are we going to screw this up? But it will be the final Sunday of terror for those fans. The final Sunday. The final Sunday of terror. That should actually be a title of an episode. Uh, alas, all good things must come to an end. After eight years, longtime viewers of the HBO drama that has become one of the most popular shows on TV will need to accept the end of the series on May 19th. Fear not, fans won't be alone as they try to detach themselves from the world of Westeros and hang out, uh, hang tough through this difficult time. Counselors are making themselves available to talk about the show after the series. And yes, Game of Thrones therapy is a thing. So, so if you go to Bark.com, an online local service marketplace, you can find a counselor to help guide you through life after Game of Thrones. The professionals will help them digest their feelings and interpretation of the show, which could range from anger and confusion to sadness and grief. God, we, we watch them to escape our daily lives. They're talking about the show, uh, TV shows. Immerse ourselves in the unknown. This is, a ver this is the very reason why we sometimes become addicted to watching TV shows. The stories they tell become part of our identity and they spend a lot of money. They sink a lot of time and a lot of money into these shows and movies. And, uh, you know, when you watch the, the ball get dropped, uh, like it was with, you know, The Last Jedi and Game of Thrones, as I understand it, you know, people get a little pissed off. Uh, of course, we do have some media outlets defending, uh, you know, the experts are defending the choices made in Game of Thrones uh, because you're all too stupid to know what you like or didn't like. And this kind of reminds me of, again, The Last Jedi, where we had the critics. Uh, we had the critics coming out and saying that the fans were stupid. They didn't understand how uh, superb The Last Jedi was and that it was an, a, a magnificent uh, piece of art. Um, so there we go. Now, people were taking off work today. I don't know if they were taking off work to grieve Game of Thrones or, or, or bitch about it on the internet, but a survey says that the finale could kill productivity at work. I mean, this is a cultural phenomenon, and they, they flushed it down the toilet, just like Star Wars. I had one more potential death to the tally of HBO fantasy series Game of Thrones. About 27.2 million employees expect to see their work impacted the Monday after the series finale of Game of Thrones, according to a survey released last week by the Workforce Institute. At Kronos Incorporated, the survey found that 10.7 million employees in the U.S., We'll skip work to watch the final episode of Game of Thrones, which aired Sunday night. About 2.9 million said they would arrive to work late on Monday morning, drinking their drinking their troubles away. By comparison, a similar survey conducted by the National Organization ahead of January Super Bowl found 17.2 million adults expected to miss work the Monday after the big game. So... Uh, it's not just the final episode of Game of Thrones that halted productivity. The survey claims more than 20 million employees admit the show's final season has had an impact on their work attendance and or performance. Uh, they're grief stricken. They need a counselor. The survey also said that more than 35 million employees have spent at least one hour a week on company time talking about reading about or posting online about the show this season. See, we need to get rid of uh, we need to get rid of pop culture because look what it's doing to the economy. Um, it's, it's tanking the economy. We got to get rid of this. And this is funny. Now this is from a couple of weeks ago. It says game of Thrones doesn't mark the end of appointment TV. Hollywood always gives Hollywood always gives viewers what they want. Uh, okay. So uh, this is not true. They're talking about the end of Game of Thrones being the end of appointment television. Now I, you know, I talked before about how much I loved Dr. Who, how it was the only show I made sure I watched live every week. And if I couldn't watch it live for whatever reason, I would actually buy the download on Amazon. That's how much I love Doctor Who. And Game of Thrones was this way for so many people. And, uh, you know, it seems like more and more TV shows aren't really appointment TV. And, I, you know, part of that is I blame, you know, streaming platforms because now people are used to binging a show when it comes out. They're not just watching it live. Um, so, you know, I think people are only going to be burnt so many times before they don't commit to shows like this and i wonder you know with with you know game of thrones and doctor who and star wars having the backlash that they are having 
from the hardcore fans. Are people going to even invest in these shows enough anymore to make them appointment TV? You know, I mean, that's what I'm kind of wondering. Is like, is it, are fandoms burn out? Look at Star Trek too. Like, I don't watch Star Trek anymore. I haven't watched any of the new Star Trek shows. That's why we don't cover it on this channel. But Star Trek fans are really salty about uh, Discovery, you know, and because of the backlash against Discovery. Now, I was a huge Next Generation fan, but I don't have any interest in watching Picard because I'm, I've heard so many negative things about Star Trek Discovery that I'm just, I know they're probably going to ruin Picard too, and I'd rather remember Next Gen uh, as it was, as I loved it, than to invest in another show that could totally, you know, assassinate the character of, of Jean-Luc Picard. So are fans, you know, are we going to see a decline in fandoms, I'm wondering? Are, are we going to see, what is this? I don't want this. No thanks. No thanks. Um, are we going to see a decline in fandoms because the fandom just is not going to invest in these shows anymore because they do tend to drop the ball at some point? You know, and there's disappointment. I mean, you invest so much in a series, and I can't think of too many that were excellent from start to finish. Um, and you know, most shows show fatigue or whatever, but it just seems more like more and more of these pop culture phenomenons are, are really, um, really kind of burning the fans. You know, so I wonder if people are just like, we're never going to see another Game of Thrones. We're never going to see another Doctor Who um, because the fandom just you know is not going to invest in it enough to potentially get get burnt again I, you know, that's why i kind of wonder now here are some potential spoilers i'm going to go out to twitter real quick and just show you some of the tweets uh you know people are pretty salty about the end of of game of thrones spoiler warning if you're interested in the show and you haven't watched it yet now is your chance to duck out of this video okay so <laughs> when you don't contribute to the group project and still get an a game of thrones finale <laughs> that was painful to watch let's wait for the books yeah here we go script by george martin and then we just sort of went off the rails this happens in anime all the time where they have so much manga and then once they run out of manga they just kind of make it up and it just goes completely off the rails uh yeah so look when you wasted years of your life on game of thrones to find out spoiler bran is king oh oh he took my virginity broke my heart and left me for his sister. He deserved it. Men are trash. Men are trash. Um, yeah. So it's people aren't people aren't real happy. They aren't real happy. So yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know if this is going to affect other fandoms too. I'm, I'm really wondering. I mean, we've we've like, again, you know, we've been burnt on Star Wars, burnt on Game of Thrones, uh, burnt on Doctor Who. Um, you know, are people gonna make an, the next big pop culture? phenomenon or are they just going to be like nah you know <laughs> nah i mean look at the mcu there's already you know some backlash against endgame some of the choices in endgame and a lot of concerns for the future of the mcu so the mcu might be setting itself up to be the next game of thrones you know where people have invested over a decade into this franchise and then they're going to drop the ball with it uh you know it's it's you know winter might be coming for the mcu as well so i'm gonna wrap this one up some some things to think about you know some things to think about if you're a fan of any uh anything that's coming out of hollywood is you know how long until they pull the football away hey guys thanks for watching clownfish tv please consider supporting the channel go to clownfishsupport.com that's clownfishsupport.com and if you want to join our community go to clownfishtalk.com that's clownfishtalk.com please subscribe ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.